Well, when the snow comes later this week, remember to enjoy it as much as this dog. Whiskey the St. Bernard waded through deep snow today in Osceola, New York, which is about 50 miles northeast of the famously snowy city of Syracuse. The National Weather Service says that they got more than three feet of snow by this morning and more heavy lake effect snow is expected through tonight. I just cannot get enough of that. And he's really trying. Oh, they those dogs. They're built for dogs, it. Oh, they're, they're made for it. it. And uh, St. Bernard's <clears throat> pretty deep, uh, deep uh, snow too. Yeah, so we're not going to get anything like that here though this week. It's just, I mean, <laughs> Yeah, right Some now cuttings. we right. are going to see snow yeah. um, right now. Uh, the, the current trends are not for giant amounts of snow, but there's all the other aspects that come with it that are going to create some issues. So uh, right now we're not it's still too soon to put on uh, numbers, but just know that there's a there's a whole bunch of pieces to this that are going to lead to some some trouble getting around temperatures tonight. They're in the upper teens and low 20s. This is going to actually uh, be a night where these temperatures are likely going to be warmer than some of our temperatures we're expecting this weekend. And if you like the more mild weather tomorrow and Wednesday are the nicest days because beyond that, the, the forecast really falls apart. You can see uh, there is a lot of cold air bottled up to the northwest. This is going to break loose and we are going to see some of those uh, very frigid temperatures moving our way. And as that happens, we're going to see some rain transitioning to snow by midday on Friday. This is going to come with some quickly freezing conditions, so our temperatures are going to fall very, very fast. And as that happens, uh, anything that's wet, since you can't pre-treat the, the rain the, while it's raining, uh, that's going to freeze if it's not treated. And, and crews are going to have to play catch up trying to, to get back on pace with, with that changeover, which is very hard to do. And you're going to have to exercise some patience with that process on Friday. But while things are freezing, some snow is going to be falling on top of that and the winds are going to be gusting a very slick combination there. So you see the snow, but our initial precipitation is actually going to come from the south. So this low develops. It pulls in this moisture from the south and we're looking at mainly rain Thursday. And I say mainly rain because the initial precipitation could come in as a mix. So we see mainly rain for the day. These lines you see here are isobars and, and the quick way to look at them, the closer those lines are together, the windier it is. So the winds are going to be kicking up as that low cuts through here and those temperatures drop. So blowing snow, not out of the question. And it will be cold enough where even flurries are going to stick to things. So it's going to be one of those situations where the cold air is going to lead to every snowflake sticking. Now, as we get into Saturday, we're going to keep these snow showers going, but they're going to be on the light side. We will have the winds kicking still and the temperature is very cold. So if you're going to the Steelers game or late night church services, it is going to be cold. So if you know that you're going to have to park and walk further than normal, make sure you, you cover up because the wind chills uh, as we head into Saturday and Saturday night could easily be down to minus 10, minus 15 with a setup like this. Now, Sunday, Christmas Day, we're going to be seeing some uh, some flurries in the morning, but I think we generally start to dry it up, although those those colder temperatures will be sticking around tonight. 20 degrees, partly cloudy, chilly conditions. I'm calling it chilly because it's getting much colder later in this forecast. So we get to tomorrow high of 37, some lower 40s Wednesday and Thursday and mainly rain on on uh, Thursday, but a little mix in some spots up front. Friday, those temperatures fall, the rain changes to snow, things freeze up, very cold temperatures and winds that carry over into Saturday, some light snow, but again, that's going to stick and blow around with the winds. The wind chills are going to be below zero, frigid there, and on Christmas Day, 17, with some sunshine trying to break out later in the day.